Sigmund Freud's death instinct thanatos. Sigmund Freud, the founding father of psychoanalysis, revolutionized the way we understand the human mind. While many are familiar with Freud's concepts of the ID, ego, and superego, as well as the pleasure principle, one of his more controversial theories is that of the death instinct or thanatos. This concept, introduced later in his career, provides a darker perspective on human behavior, suggesting that a fundamental drive toward death and destruction underpins life itself. This article delves into Freud's theory of thanatos, its origins, implications, and how it contrasts with the life instinct, eros. Origins of the death instinct Freud first introduced the concept of the death instinct in his 1920 essay, Beyond the Pleasure Principle. Up until this point, Freud's work had primarily focused on the idea that human behavior was driven by the pursuit of pleasure and the avoidance of pain what he called the pleasure principle. However, Freud began to observe behaviors that didn't quite fit this model. He noticed patterns of repetition, compulsion, and self-destructive behavior that couldn't be fully explained by the desire for pleasure. These observations led Freud to hypothesize that there must be another force at work, an instinct that drives individuals not toward pleasure and survival, but toward self-destruction and death. Freud named this instinct Thanatos, after the Greek god of death, contrasting it with Eros, the life instinct that drives reproduction, survival, and creativity. The concept of Thanatos. Thanatos, according to Freud, is an unconscious drive that compels humans toward destruction, aggression, and ultimately death. It is an innate and powerful force that exists alongside Eros, constantly working to return the individual to an inanimate state. Freud theorized that all living beings have a fundamental tendency to return to the state of quiescence that existed before birth. This return to inanimacy is, in essence, the death instinct. Freud's idea of thanatos is closely related to his earlier concepts of the repetition compulsion, where individuals repeat distressing events or behaviors even when they cause harm. This compulsion to repeat negative experiences can be seen as a manifestation of the death instinct. For example, individuals who repeatedly engage in self-destructive behaviors, such as addiction or sabotaging their own success, may be unconsciously driven by thanatos. Thanatos and Eros The Dual Instinct Theory Freud's theory of thanatos did not exist in isolation. He proposed that human behavior is the result of a constant interplay between two fundamental instincts, Eros and thanatos. Eros, the life instinct, drives people toward growth, reproduction, creativity, and the preservation of life. It is associated with love, sexuality, and the formation of social bonds, in contrast, Thanatos drives individuals toward aggression, destruction, and death. Freud believed that these two instincts are in perpetual conflict within the human psyche. While Eros seeks to create and maintain life, Thanatos seeks to dissolve it. This tension between the life and death instincts is central to Freud's understanding of human behavior, shaping everything from individual actions to societal dynamics. Manifestations of Thanatos The death instinct can manifest in various ways, both internally and externally. 1. Aggression and violence Thanatos can be directed outward, leading to aggressive or violent behavior toward others. Freud believed that war and societal violence are large-scale expressions of the death instinct, where the destructive energy of Thanatos is channeled into conflict and killing. Two. Self-destructive behavior. When thanatos is directed inward, it can lead to self-harm, suicidal ideation, and other forms of self-destructive behavior. This internalization of the death instinct is seen in individuals who engage in harmful patterns of behavior that threaten their own well-being. 3. Repetition compulsion. As mentioned earlier, the repetition of distressing or traumatic experiences is another manifestation of thanatos. Freud observed that individuals who experience trauma often unconsciously repeat aspects of the trauma in their lives, even when it is painful or harmful. 4. Mortality awareness. 
On a more abstract level, thanatos may also contribute to an individual's awareness of mortality and the anxiety that arises from the knowledge of eventual death. This existential dread can influence behavior, often leading people to seek meaning or to cope with the inevitability of death in various ways. Thanatos in Contemporary Psychology Freud's concept of thanatos has been the subject of much debate and criticism. Some psychologists argue that the death instinct is too speculative and lacks empirical evidence. Others suggest that Freud's observations of self-destructive behavior can be better explained through other psychological theories, such as cognitive behavioral models or neurobiological research on trauma and addiction. However, the idea of a death instinct continues to influence certain areas of psychology, particularly in the study of aggression, trauma, and self-destructive behavior. While Freud's dual instinct theory may not be universally accepted, it remains a powerful metaphor for understanding the darker aspects of human nature. Criticisms of the Death Instinct Theory Freud's theory of thanatos has faced significant criticism from both within and outside the psychoanalytic community. Some of the main criticisms include 1. Lack of empirical evidence. Critics argue that Freud's death instinct is not grounded in empirical research and is more of a speculative concept than a scientifically testable theory. The abstract nature of thanatos makes it difficult to study or measure in a rigorous way. 2. Overemphasis on pathology. Some psychologists believe that Freud's focus on the death instinct overemphasizes the pathological aspects of human behavior. They argue that not all negative behaviors are driven by an unconscious desire for death, and that other psychological factors, such as learned behavior or environmental influences, play a significant role. 3. Simplistic Dualism Freud's dualistic view of Eros and Thanatos has been criticized for oversimplifying the complexity of human motivation. Critics suggest that human behavior is influenced by a wide range of factors, including biological, psychological, and social influences, rather than just two opposing instincts. 4. Cultural Bias Some critics have argued that Freud's concept of thanatos reflects a Western cultural bias that emphasizes individualism, competition, and conflict. They suggest that other cultural perspectives may offer different interpretations of human behavior that do not rely on the concept of a death instinct. Conclusion Sigmund Freud's theory of the death instinct, or thanatos, remains one of his most controversial and intriguing ideas. While it has been criticized for its speculative nature and lack of empirical support, the concept continues to resonate in discussions of aggression, self-destruction, and the human condition. Whether viewed as a literal force or a metaphorical representation of the darker side of human nature, Thanatos challenges us to confront the complex and often contradictory drives that shape our lives. Freud's exploration of the death Instinct adds depth to our understanding of human motivation, reminding us that the forces driving our behavior are not always rational or life-affirming. As we continue to study the mind and behavior, Freud's ideas, including the concept of thanatos, offer valuable insights into the mysteries of the human psyche.